guys, welcome back. So today I'll be reacting to a movie that I hate called The Kissing Booth. And without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Realized I had a crush on Noah. Got over my crush on Noah. Mostly. Dang, she really pulled a radio rebel. She went... Everyone staring at you. <gasps> what the hell, Tuppin? Why would she forgive him after the way he touched her? Okay, and his apology was so half-assed, it was pathetic. He... I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Why would she forgive him after that? Why would she go on a date with a guy who sexually assaulted her? Seriously. Are th is this girl's standard so low that she thinks that that's acceptable behavior? I mean, imagine if all crimes got fixed with a simple apology. A, such a pathetic apology at that. You can't tell him I told you. Why do you care? No boobs are worth a broken nose. Noah is just so possessive, he's so controlling, and it's just... It's just not attractive. It's, it's so toxic. Why are they making so many male leads in movies nowadays so possessive and controlling? Those aren't good character traits. Actually, it's quite the opposite. If you find a guy who is that controlling and possessive of you, run the other way. Like, that is not a good thing. I don't know what that means, but I want to hear all the gory details later. The princess has returned. And if you get the reference, then you're one of the cool kids and you should like the video. If you don't get the reference, you're not one of the cool kids. Get out. Leave. Still like the video, but leave. You're not welcome here anymore. Motorcycle, polish your trophies. <gasps> Did you just put hands on me? Easy Bake Oven is downstairs, bitch. Are you for serious? Leave. <sighs> Ew. Are you for serious? I never understood the point of a kissing booth. Okay, these are high school kids who are probably out there doing some dirty stuff without proper protection. So you know you are going to catch something. Like something. Even if it's just the flu, you're still going to catch something. Okay, and I guarantee at least half the people there are horrible kissers. So it's not going to be a fun time for anyone. Truth be told, I've never kissed anyone before. But it, until it just didn't because... I hate scenes like this. I hate PDA. I hate when somebody is doing something and everyone is just staring at them. It, it, it makes my skin crawl. It really does. It just makes me feel so embarrassed. Even if the characters aren't embarrassed, I am. Yeah, pretty much. Huh? I get that he's the popular guy of the school, but I honestly doubt anyone would care if they kissed. Okay, they got an actual standing ovation just for making out at a kissing booth. That is the fakest run I have ever seen. Isn't she on a soccer team or something? Okay, she should know how to run. Wait, wait, no, no. I cannot just be another one of your conquests. You are the only girl who doesn't fall at my feet. It's one of the things I like about you. Ew, no, no, no. It's so weird. They grew up together. They've known each other since they were babies. That is so weird. He's essentially her brother. His brother is practically her brother. That is so weird. Well, she's been conquered, just like all of his other conquests that he's probably brought to the exact same spot and said the exact same things to. Also, how did he even get up there? I don't think the Hollywood sign is just something you can just go to. I'm pretty sure it's private property and you can't just go up there. <laughs>
that was not an attractive shot. <laughs> I did not like that one bit. <laughs> no, have you seen Al? <laughs> Jesus, what happened to your face? I had an accident and Noah offered to help. They were just innocently sitting there. Nothing wrong with that. It was more their reactions that made it come off as weird. And had they just played it cool, he probably wouldn't have thought anything was happening. I mean, she did grow up with both of them, so it shouldn't be seen as weird that she would hang out with him as well. It's just their reactions that made everything really suspicious. Here. I swear to God, if you laid a hand on me, hey, hey, stop! Hey, hey, stop! Noah, stop! It's honestly really concerning that he immediately assumed his brother would hit her. And Noah has shown a lot of violent tendencies before in the movie. So it kind of makes me wonder if he's actually hit or hurt a previous girlfriend in the past. Because why else would his brother immediately jump to that conclusion unless something like that has happened before? So this is what you've been keeping from me? You were acting like a hurt little bitch! <gasps> please, please don't leave like this. Noah has gotten everything that he has ever wanted. You two deserve each other. I kind of think he's just being a big baby about the whole thing. It's honestly not that big of a deal that she's dating his brother. Had she been open and honest about it from the beginning, that would have definitely been the better decision or the better move to make. But the act of dating his brother isn't that big of a deal. This is amazing. Yearbook guy is honestly a big creep. He spends the entire movie just following people around and taking pictures of them no matter the situation. Like that's just kind of weird and some things are off limits. Like not everything has to be photographed. Thank you next up. Will you call my name? Because I love you. I want to go. Oh. I hate these kinds of scenes so much. So much. I wish they would stop putting these in movies. They're terrible. I am so uncomfortable. Okay, you don't need some giant announcement in front of the whole school telling her how you feel. It's like, that's personal. Do that in private. Don't embarrass her in front of everyone. How he feels now, I've just got to find him and tell him how I feel. You just said. Thanks for staying a little longer. Well, I had to see you blow out the candles on your cake. How did she not know that was him? He's three times bigger than his brother is. And he sounds completely different. Like, he wasn't fooling anyone. How did she not notice that? I hate their height difference so much. She's like two feet shorter than him. I don't even think she reaches his shoulders. Okay, that's just too big of a height difference. That's too big of a gap. But it's... And now, as the main character can all of a sudden ride a motorcycle with no previous training, I will end the video here. I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!